WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett, Memphis, ESPN 790 AM with Colin Coward and The Herd. Weekday mornings from 9 AM till noon. Welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. And wow, I mean, uh, we knew Jerry McGinnis was going to be on talking about his new book, Bass Fishing, Brown Dogs and Curveballs. Uh, but then all of a sudden, Bill Dance popped up and wanted to share some words together with uh, the two of the, the all-time giants of the industry. And uh, appreciate uh, sticking around and doing that because uh, you know that got me rolling. But I was really, really excited about this day. Uh, this is this is a jam-packed show. And uh, hey, a lot of y'all have read and been on the internet and seen on the news and everything about the Safari Club International Certified World Record Alligator. It measured 15 feet, 9 inches, and weighed 1,001 and a half pounds. And uh, it, it caught a lot of attention. And, but the, the main thing that, uh, that, it, that it gave some recognition to a wonderful part of the world that I really love, and uh, that's, and I love to say Montgomery. I love that part of Alabama and that area down there. And we have on with, on Outdoors of Larry Ray not only Mandy Stokes, who uh, along with her husband John and Mandy's brother-in-law Kevin Jenkins and uh, Kevin's uh, teenage children, Savannah and Parker, they bagged that big gator. But not only do we have Mandy on the line, but we also and really happy to, to have on with us also Pam Swanner. She is the project director for Alabama Black Belt Adventures Association. Uh, good morning to Pam. Good morning to everyone. And good morning to you, Mandy. I'm great. How are you guys? We are doing great. We're going to talk gator here, but first let's talk a little bit about uh, the Alabama Black Belt Adventures Association because I know I, I've, I've seen Pam at the Southeastern Outdoor Press Association. You, you folks are always so good to the COPA group whenever we meet. I know Pam's going to be there and Ray Scott's going to be there and some of the other folks, but Pam, tell us a little bit about the Black Belt Adventures Association, then we'll work our way into this wonderful conversation with Mandy. Sure. Uh, this, this is an organization, a destination marketing organization uh, that was uh, formed about six years ago now to promote recreation to the outdoor enthusiast. And we have a, a black, the Black Belt region that we represent encompasses 23 counties wow. located okay. in south central Alabama, and it spans from the Mississippi to the Georgia state line. Um, there are nearly 11 million acres of forest and land here in this region that we work with, so it makes it a prime destination for hunting, all kinds of hunting, white-tailed deer, turkey, quail, and hogs. And our rivers and lakes provide lunker bass and slab crappie on a year-round basis, and of course, world record gators now. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's. Uh... But we also have about 50 outfitters and lodges in this region, um, as well as public land. So we have not only the hunting and fishing recreational opportunities, but our great area 
allows people to enjoy soft adventure, you know, like canoeing or birding or hiking or camping, you know, any of that. So we are truly uh, positioned to brand the region as a, an outdoor destination. Well, how much this the, this this gator uh, gave you a lot of notoriety, didn't it? A great <laughs> deal of notoriety. I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, I mean, the publicity that it has garnered uh, for our region, um, it, there's no way that we could have possibly afforded to purchase <laughs> yeah. the coverage and the, the media um, articles and whatnot that have resulted from this. So big thank you to Mandy and her, her Stokes team for um, helping us to promote the region. Well, well, let's talk to Mandy a little bit about this, and uh, Pam has set it up wonderfully. And Mandy, uh, uh, I know when I uh, talked to you earlier this week, you're on the line talking to somebody else, and uh, the notoriety. Uh, walk us through a little bit of how all this developed with you and John and Kevin, and uh, when you went out that night, uh, and when it happened, and what did you expect, and uh, has it blown you away? <laughs> oh, it, it's definitely blown all of us away. I was just telling somebody this morning because we talk about this alligator on a daily basis. I bet you do. To people, even still locally. But anyway, I was just telling somebody this morning that even standing beside the mount, the five of us are just in awe at the whole experience because, you know, it's it's still mind-boggling that we were able to harvest an animal like that and, and get it out of the water somehow. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, did, did you know it was there when you went in? No, see, and, and so many people are, are shocked to know the fact that we've never been alligator hunting before. There you but, go. But, yeah. well, you know, once we well, once I acquired the tag, which was in July, and we uh, didn't get to hunt until the month of August, uh-huh. you know, I met so many people that's like, oh, there's a big one here, there's a big one there, there's big ones. Just They named all the places they had seen big ones. Uh-huh. And so we just went into Mill Creek that night and matter of fact when we were going into Mill Creek a boat was leaving. Oh really? And I me or my niece Savannah, one of the two, said, Well they're leaving. There's no alligators in here. Maybe they were running from it. But maybe you know? so. <laughs> <laughs> they very well could have been. But anyway, we went in there and hung out for just a little bit and, and it went from there. Uh, unbelievable. We're talking to Mandy Stokes here. Her, her family has uh, uh bagged and harvested the uh, Safari Club International uh Certified world record for a, a bull gator that weighed uh, over a thousand pounds, o- almost sixteen feet long. And Pam Swanner, of course, is in with us from the Alabama Black Belt Adventure Association here on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And I know, uh, Mandy, uh, once it's accomplished, uh, do we expect a, a reality show with the Stokes family? Well, it's, believe it or not, <laughs> we have had. I have had some. Producers from over in California contact me just yes. pretty, just right after that took place. But me and my husband discussed it just for a minute and decided that <laughs> probably wasn't going to be for us. Because you have a real life. I mean, you, you right. We both have regular jobs. Yes. You know, we have two toddlers, and we just didn't feel like that would fit in well. And and now I know Pam that uh, you were able to exhibit this amazing critter uh, at the Man Wildlife Learning Museum there in Montgomery, right? Yes, yeah, through the generosity of, of um, Mandy and her family, they did allow uh, the gator to stay uh, on exhibit at Man Wildlife Museum, but it was there for the, the weekend following the press conference, yes, uh-huh. and yeah. it's going to be on display again. I'd like for all of your listeners uh-huh. to take note of this. It yes. will be on display again, Larry, during the COPA conference. Where oh, I'm really? At Ufala? that conference at Lake Point State Park uh, you in go. Ufala, Alabama yes. in October, oh. and it will be available for public viewing uh, October the 10th and the 11th. Wow, and okay. And again on the 17th. Oh, I haven't I haven't read that in my Siopa news. So uh, well, that's just something that has kind of there you been, go uh, breaking news here. Uh, yeah, as of yesterday. All right, well, uh, Mandy, uh, will you will you and uh, and your, and your husband be at the C- uh, up there at Siopa also? We to- we plan on trying to make an appearance to yeah, meet everybody. You, uh, that's not been worked out just yet, but we certainly hope. Well, so. work it out because I know uh, uh, being a longtime member of Siopa and uh, the board of directors and the, uh, this is really going to add a 
a great deal to it just to to see this thing. So yeah. now, so now you are the the, the Gator Lady. Well, that's what they say. Yeah. You know, I, I was able to meet Troy Landry right after we oh, were it. Oh, yeah. were And so they, they took a pic, a picture was taken of the two of us, and they called it the king and queen of alligators. Oh, what did John think <laughs> about this? Well, he was okay with it. Okay, yeah. You know, <laughs> so you, you're not saying scoot them. Right, you know, you, you're not going to say scoot them, scoot them. Is it, no, not just yet. Not yet. to come into it and everything. Well, I know. Larry, one thing I'd like to point out is the fact that Mandy had on her pearls the night of the hunt. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely, yes, sir. Uh, just a little story on that. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the other state record for the state of Alabama in our area was killed in 2011, uh-huh. and that alligator was um, 14-2, and he weighed 838 pounds. Well, anyway, long story short, he was on public display in 2012 in the early summer, and when I walked in and saw that alligator, I was just at all at the size of this thing. Yes. And I, at this point, just made a joke among friends and family that I, that I was going to get an alligator tag and I was going to catch one bigger than that one. Oh. It was a joke because nobody thought even one existed any bigger than That's that. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it was truly a joke, but I never forgot about that. And all, when I finally got my tag some years later... and. Anyway, and I and I did. I wore I wore them out the two nights we went hunting. Did you really? Oh I did. my goodness! Well, is there <laughs> is there another big one out there? I think there's going to be some that's very comparable. Wow! Well, <laughs> I can't imagine that. I, I, this looks like something out of the prehistoric. I, I mean, it just blew my mind away. And of course, we have a Mississippi has a, a big alligator season, and uh, we don't have. What, Thank goodness we don't have any in Tennessee. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in my canoe and kayak when that one comes around and everything. Hey, thank y'all for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray, Mandy, Pam. Uh, uh, we'll post all. All this has been posted on my website, lroutdoors.com. The photograph, uh, the picture, the amazing thing. How tall are you, Pam? I mean, uh, Mandy. Uh, about five, five maybe. Okay, so this alligator is three times your your size. Absolutely. Uh, I, I just, and just, I invite your listeners to go to our website. Yes, yeah, I was. Uh, to learn more about the region. Yeah, I was going to do that. Go to Alabama Black Belt Adventures dot org. Uh, wonderful place down there uh, for for all sorts of things, and uh, this this just blew my mind away. So. Again, congratulations, Mandy, to you and your family. Pam, thank you for helping set this thing up and everything. And uh, it, it's been wonderful. So we'll, all this will be posted on my website as soon as possible. Thanks, gals. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Y- y'all See have, you follow us. See Bye-bye. you in follow. Thank y'all. Have a good day. All right, let's take a break. Wow. Uh, that's a big gall- alligator. I can't even imagine a 15-foot alligator. You, just... got a, you got alligators like that in Illinois? Uh, I, I, I don't think so. In the so. zoo. In the, yeah, in a zoo, maybe. In the zoo. All right, let's take a break, come back, and we're going to talk about a subject that's uh, very important to this area, and that's the Hatchie River on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry.